Hey gang, how are you? Been a lot of videos I've recorded and apparently um, I didn't upload any of them over the past couple of weeks. Uh, it, was, it was pretty hard this month. I, I was not able to, uh, to make a living the way I thought I was going to be able to because it was just too cold and too much snow. So I was not able to work on my 24 hour. I, basically I woke up every morning without any cans and any money. And I had to go out sometimes in like minus 30 degrees to look for cans. <laughs> and I didn't think I was going to make it. I really, it was a few days I said, this is crazy. I got to get out of this business. This is not going to work. And every night, every time it happened, I got lucky. It's like God, Jesus, whatever, whoever, someone looks down on me. And I just get lucky. Uh, just to give you one example, uh, on Saturday it was freezing. And there was nobody drinking outside. See, when it gets below minus two um, Celsius, you can't hold a can without freezing your fingers. That goes for me for collecting them. That goes as well for the kids drinking them, teenagers and the uh, the partying, uh, university students in my area. So they don't buy the cans. They buy the bottles, which are too heavy for me to, to get. And they just don't drink a lot outside. They drink in the bars. So to give you an example, I went out for one hour uh, on that Saturday and it made a grand total of 80 cents. <laughs> it was two hours that made 80 cents and I was like, uh oh, oh my God. But then uh, later on that day, so I was able to go out and basically make enough just for my weed, which is 10 bucks. And uh, I, I'm walking home at night and I'm thinking this is going to be a rough rest of the, it's going to be rough until the winter cools down. Because only it was another week or so which is like now, it's already cool. It's gotten warmer and all the cold days and major snowstorms are behind us, so I'm okay. So I'm walking home on Saturday and I pass by this club which just threw out all of its cans from the week in front and I just, I was able to bring home enough for, the, for basically until, you know, I'm good, basically, I'm good. Not for the whole week, but until, uh, you know, tomorrow and tomorrow's gonna be three degrees so I can make as much money as I want again. But that night on Saturday, I wanted to tell you guys that I, not only did I find like, you know, maybe 80 bucks in that one shot, 100 bucks. So I didn't even have to work for it. And that's the beauty of this job. It's like, I'm depressed one minute, and then like, you never know what's around the corner. And it's really exciting. So every day I was able to get my food, get my weed, get my coffee every night from Tim Hortons. I've been able to, to keep okay I didn't have even one night when I was not able to supply my be, be satisfied and I wanted to show you guys remember I told you I find a lot of stuff in the garbage when I'm doing this job that is really kind of cute that I wouldn't normally take I wanted to show you some stuff I saved some things I didn't look yet but watch watch this hold on this is just to show you the kind of stuff that I would never buy this stuff here's a mirror I found let me try to get it here See, it's made, it's, it's extremely heavy. It's made out of like a, a metal of some kind. Let me get it back here. Ah, not sure if you can see it. You can't really see it. Ah, too bad. Anyways, it's just beautiful. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's like a metallic, see the way it's on the top? Some kind of a, I can't explain. <laughs> Anyways, this thing is really heavy. It's really nice. I can just can't really show you it, obviously in its entirety. But ah, it's some kind of an antique. I've never seen this before. And then, whew, ah, sorry. I found these paintings, and I've been saving them to show you guys because show you how people are so nice so someone left this out in their garbage if you can see the little note it says free on it let's see how they look look at those four paintings okay not bad I don't know what it is but you know It was, it was made in 1983. I see a name down there. Okay, not bad. See in the back? Oh. oh. Okay, it's a real artist. 
have another one. Not bad. Look at this, a little oil painting. Very colorful for me. I'm colorblind. This is the kind of stuff that gets me actually excited because I see how much colors. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Let's see the other ones. <laughs> Look at this. See, I would never buy this stuff, but <laughs> it makes my apartment look so much more, you know, comfortable, homey, and feminine. It's like I've never had this in my life. I'm just showing you guys this stuff. Wow, look at this one. I like this one. Ooh, this one's cool, man. <laughs> and they're all on canvas. Okay. Now you get the. Now you see the uh, the magic of of being of being broke. Let me get a drink. The. Uh, sorry, guys. I know I'm wasting your time. I just wanted to give you, your, you know, give you a feeling of how much fun I've had in doing this job, and because I wake up every day bro broke, and I end up in the end of the day sometimes with printers and computers, and look at that, I have four pieces of art. This, uh, oh, I found something out. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Look at this. found this also it's an r2d2 uh look it opens the top opens it's actually you put in um oils and there's a motor you can plug it in and uh it's like a deodorizer for essential oils pretty cool eh pretty cool anyways that's really what this video was about i, I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of what i've been going through for three years and how i've managed to decorate my apartment uh, get th two computers and about four laptops. I mean, I have a an electric fireplace next to me. It's beautiful. It's it's metallic. I mean, I have so much stuff here that is so beautiful. <laughs> now I want to tell you guys something else. I've totally come back. I was able to uh, to start programming again, and I'm gonna have my site, and it's gonna be great because YouTube is just terrible for recovery. Uh, I've been on it now again, and I realized that, uh, you know, I got I got very lucky. A lot of us we got lucky for whatever time for whatever reason. We ended up in the right spot, and uh, we accepted what kind of experiences we went through. But a lot of people in the future won't find those videos. I'm just I'm just afraid, and uh, wait till you guys see my website. I've been programming again uh, the way I did it. I'll tell you this is the truth. I started to overdose again on my ADHD pills. I realized that uh, I can't wake up in the morning and go to sleep at night and get anything done. It really takes me waking up in the morning, living a whole day, getting my needs taken care of, tiring out my physical and, um, and emotional and mental body a little bit, and then spending the next 24 hours programming and thinking about, and basically I have to get into the zone and uh, being awake 12, 14 hours is not enough time to get in the zone and stay in the zone and be a programmer. And this is something I've realized now because, uh, and another thing is like, I was not getting enough a, uh, Concerta. They gave me 18 milligrams, which is the lowest dose available. And it works in the sense that it makes me really happy, keeps me in a good mood. It takes my really vicious, I mean, it makes me from a low life son of a bitch. It takes that same energy and makes it positive. But it doesn't really help me concentrate, and I've told you guys that. So then when I took too many the other day, it was only about three weeks ago, I took too many, and I was like, okay. I'm not getting enough, obviously, because I started to program again, and I'm, whatever, my concentration was back. So I'm getting stuff done. Uh, I've learned how to sing really well. I just wanted to show you guys that stuff that I found in the garbage. Really, that was all it was about. <laughs> I'll talk later. I, I'm going through a lot of pain, by the way. Uh, I'm writing my book and I'm remembering my parents and it's not funny anymore. It's not shocking anymore. It's pathetic what they did. It's really, okay, it's still shocking. It's still shocking. I can't believe it. I had no parents, guys. I had no parents. My Every time I got in trouble or I got hurt or something, my mother would throw me to my father, my father would throw me to my mother, 
and eventually one of us would just one of them would just snub me into the ashtray like a cigarette just get rid of me somehow so it's no wonder my brother and I found ourselves with the ability to cope with life's challenges we were never taught how to cope and I guess because my parents did not know how to cope my father was a psychopath who'd run off to play with little boys as a way to escape and my mother would run off to the strip club to uh, snort cocaine to escape they never learned how to cope with their problems I know that both had really rough upbringings, especially my mother. <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, it's, 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 my book's getting written, and it's a lot more. God, I repressed a lot even since I got traumatized. The whole story in itself is just, God, it's just tragic. It's just tragic. Anyways, but I'm much better. I'm keeping busy, and this job has really helped me. I don't think I can do anything else. This is so exciting all the, every day. Right now I have, you know, nothing. No money. I do have maybe $10 in cans, but every day is, a, is an adventure. I feel like a hunter, to tell you the truth, especially in the winter. Because in the summer I can really work on a Sunday. The reason why I couldn't work the whole day this week is because it's too cold. So I'd go out, and even on recycling day, there'd be more than enough cans. I mean, some nights I got more than enough in the week, but some nights it was too cold. I couldn't stay out for more than an hour without my fingers starting to get frostbite so I'd run in and by the time I'd run out again an hour later they'd be all gone because somebody else would have taken them uh, it is extremely competitive boy when I talk about collecting cans and, and bottles for recycling guys there are so many people on a recycling day as you walk down the streets look poking through the recycling bags uh, and bins you see guys at every corner doing it uh, and we all make a living doing it it's incredible anyways that's it. I'm feeling, I can't say I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling back. I'm feeling I can finally help the community build my, my website. It's going to be great. It's required. It's going to be very interesting and educational for us, especially if we've gone through this. Because it will, anyways, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to, uh, to get some kind of like administrator rights, people who watch me regularly, <clears throat> so you can actually you know, enjoy some privileges being part of this with me. And it's not far from being done where I can show you guys what I'm, what I'm working on. It's, it's really, it's really needed. It's really needed. Anyways, that's it guys. I'm just rambling. I guess I just woke up happy for the first day because I have a lot of food. Again, I restocked myself. I had nothing. On Saturday guys, when I woke up and I told you I made 80 cents, I had no food to eat. I didn't go back to the shelter because it's been almost a year since I went and I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to become, break that, uh, you know, I want to stick to my new life again. So I resisted. I stayed hungry. Um, now I'm fully stocked again. Weed's back again. And most importantly, the minus 25 degree weather <laughs> is gone. So uh, I won't have a problem making money again. And uh, this year, this summer, I'm going to get my my project on, on online and uh, anyhow. and another thing next summer what I'm gonna do even if I'm making money I'm gonna put a camera on my head and I'm gonna collect cans and bottles and I'm gonna take you guys or my audience every day out onto the street so every time there's an exciting thing I mean I, I think there's a lot of people who will really enjoy it um, if they're stuck in the house for whatever reason an illness a disability or just because you know, they live in a small town. They'll, they'll probably really enjoy a guy running through uh, the big city late at night or just during the middle of the day. It's not just a big city. It's a big tourist city. So you get a lot of uh, excitement here. And, uh, and, and I always find the excitement, and I run towards it. You know, when I see a fight or I see something going down, if I see police cars, you know, I, I, I always run, run towards it my whole life. When there's a riot, I remember there was a riot here in 92. I was 22 years old and my friends, we saw like, I mean, it was dangerous. There was things flying and it was over overturned uh, cop cars on fire. And my friends wanted just to run home to my place and let's get out of here, it's dangerous. And I was like, you guys are crazy. I couldn't believe they were telling me that. I was in shock. I was like, no, you guys want to go home? I go, this happens, this happens once every like lifetime. 
I'm not going home. I let them go home. I said, here's my keys. Go back to my place, guys. I'm hanging out here. This is amazing. <laughs> and I ended up uh, looting. I didn't really want to. I didn't have to, but I suppose I was walking down the street. I had heard about looting so much. And there was a whole bunch of guys putting their hands in and grabbing uh, wine bottles out of our, uh, our government-owned wine store. I just couldn't resist. I had to be part of it, so I grabbed one, too. Uh, I like anarchy. You know, anarchy for me is, is, is like the opposite of psychopathy, you see. The psychopaths, the evil of this world is, is planned out. It's, a, it's systematic. It's, uh, it's, it's organized. And for me, the, the opposite of that uh, is anarchy, freedom, and just total insanity and losing control. Uh, it's only a you know a philosophy. It's not one I would recommend people live by. But it's it's why sometimes I look at conservatives and I wonder, wow, we are so different. I mean, conservative mentality is basically conservative. You know, they're careful. And boy, it's it, you know it's not something I would be able to be even if I agreed with the politician. I mean, if you took Bernie Sanders and made him a conservative, I don't know if I'd be able to support him just because the word conservative doesn't really exist in my life except when it comes to uh no it doesn't really exist all right guys i'm rambling i'm rambling but uh it's gonna be the it's gonna be a great year it's gonna be a great season i'm looking forward to it now i already see the summer around the corner when you live outside on the street man let me tell you the weather is your wife i mean i i curse mother nature more than anyone. I love God. I love Jesus. Oh, but Mother Nature I have a very big problem with. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys.